Stevie Ramon playing the Ramones and uh, Enforcer figuring out that it has something to do with Eric Ritchie. He's been sleeping for the last three or four video gates. See how quick he wants to jump on Stevie's dickaroo? Yeah, fuck that. I got my own battles to deal with. I don't need to take on somebody else's fucking battles. I, uh, I ain't getting in the middle of nobody's shit out here. I come out here, I do my stick, and I shut it the fuck off. Hey, Stevie, I love the way you do your shit. I love it. There is no battle out here. There is no battle out here. You know what I mean? There's no battle on the mic, period. I love your mic. I love the way you rock your mic. It's the music that you play makes it that we can't load it on YouTube. There's one particular song that does it every time. I'm not going to tell you what song it is, but uh, that wasn't the one. So, you know. I might tell Mike Action on, you know, on the phone or something, but I ain't telling you which one it is that, Tavor. Hey, 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 I'm on the bridge, and I'm not going to push to the right here because this is not what I messes up the video gate, but anyway, there's a guy out here that, uh, is in love with you now, and, uh, he wishes to, uh, he wishes to make DJ requests to you, he is in love with you now, dog. he just wants to find out what that song is. I know, you made that clear to him three transmissions ago. It just finally clicked in his head. I feel you, dog. Audio. But for me, Stevie, there's no battle out here. There's just what we got, and you know what it is. You got a radio, you're going to talk on it. If they don't like the way you sound and you get out, Stevie, tell them where they can go. I got to go. Every morning you fucking battle the crazy idiot out here. If you stop lying, you piece of shit. You lying, fat piece of shit. That's what you are. Let's go. Hey, I hear a new little punk pussy yelling at me. Wants to chime in like a cheerleader. Yeah, you're right. Uh, last year sometime in one of my video gates, Crazy Eddie showed up on 31 a couple of mornings. It took him a couple of mornings to get the job done. But he kept uh, begging me to come to Channel 19, telling me there's some guy out here talking about me all day long. So uh, you could thank Crazy Eddie and his little entourage. If you don't like how bad I beat up your pussy buddy, come get some yourself. Um, if you think you're my next contender, hey, so let's go for it. I wake up every day for guys like you on and off the mic. Oh, you fucking back off at 241 with fucking ass up. 241's no challenge. What, what, what are you, another homosexual? 241's got a homosexual desire because he believes Cupcake cutting up those little clips and making me sound like a homo is right up his alley. Now, you know, he's really mad at me for uh, messing up uh, him slipping the salami in the back of uh, US-1 over there for using the antenna. But hey, dog, uh, you know, and anytime you want to do it, I'll tell you where I'm at. Utica and Clarkson. 
If you're my new contender and you got a problem with me, like I said, I live for guys like you. On and off this mic. Now, you want to bitch moan and get your two cents in and cry and put everybody else's uh, uh, shit out there. What? Over you and your buddies? Oh, uh, poor baby. Sorry, dog. Um, I ain't been stepping on nobody since I moved off the hill. Even I know that. Except for Skip Land. But, uh, yeah, man. Don't worry. You'll have your day. I'll be back up there. With that, I'm back on the quiet side. My boy, stop crying and stop buying it. I'm back quiet. Yo, listen to this cat. The guy got stepped on all morning that everybody else was telling him, stop crying and stop buying. I don't know. He wants my attention so bad, guys. But after what I did to him in NYC Radio Wars, Truth and Justice, I know Channel 19 out here sees. I don't lock it up with him very rarely. Very rarely will I give him a reply. I just like stepping all over him and show him what crying is all about. And, you know, he, he knows you're going to have to spend a penny to get the job done. Uh, and, you know, junkies can't survive out here. Nor could they spend that penny. I'm the king of New York. I'm back quiet. <laughs> K2 smoking buddy. <laughs> He's still trying. Look at that. Listen to the defeated voice. Anybody that wants to get to know Mr. Enforcer, all the truth and justice he's been bragging about for the last 13 months raising havoc out here, just type up NYC Radio Wars on YouTube. Truth and Justice video. Check the playlist. If you can get past the whole Truth and Justice video, then you might make it to the rest of the playlist. Chronological order is always the best. It tells the story correctly. That's right. I am the number one radio rectum controller. Uh, radio? Because I control all these radio rectums, and I bring them way out of the woodwork. I am the king of New York. Uh, radio? The sound king of Florida. And I'm now back quiet. Yes, sir. Now I'm going to ask you your 20, and then you're going to ask me why, and then I'm going to make you laugh. Now, where you at? Da, 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 over here, Coney Island. Uh, I would love to believe that. I really would. I run about four tabletop units over here. One with, uh, actually, all of them got no antennas. One of them got a little makeshift antenna. It's a little two-inch piece of copper as its hot lead. And I run that on my table with headphones as monitors. And you, for a brief second, you came into it. Brief second, you actually broke right in, right up in there. Which tells me you're definitely not in Coney Island, Jimson. So go sell that story to somebody else. Oh, uh, this guy's a fucking clown. Audio. I guess you don't realize you're dealing with a tech. Okay. Hey, Coney Island. Hey, Coney Island, tell me where he's not right now. <laughs> All right. Let him sell his Coney Island story. I'm going to go back on the side and smoke the rest of this L. Oh, yeah. The King of New York. The Sound King, I'm back, why? I'm Richie, look at me. Come on, I just got down. Yeah, whatever, dude. Knock yourself out. Call me Triple Nine, I'm the new boss in town. I'm taking this show 
Listen to them bucket shots. 10 minutes and 14 seconds. Oh, here comes the gunslingers. I don't know. Monday or Tuesday, I think they'll both be here. Uh, oh, the holiday. All right, maybe by Wednesday. En route. Pop, 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 pop. Pew! Duck, bitch. Da, 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 triple nine, triple nine, triple nine over here. In the big apple. Watch me work this way. Should you think I have? Hey, one, two, seven. You will got shit on this triple nine. Oh, yeah. Roger, Roger on that. Hey, you might have that mic in a scotch too high. You might have it just a scotch too high on that mic, man. That is an ultra high drive radio. Got to go easy on the mic. That high drive box can only accept so much, and that duck plucker puts out double that. Crack that mic down a little. But damn, them gunshots, whoa! Yeah, I got one of these candy asses who was somewhere in the neighborhood a couple of minutes ago, and uh, he's trying to get all the gay play he can. But anyway, there, uh, uh, do you know about it out it. Oh, yeah, the mortician. A mortician. A mortician. You know what keeps you in business? A guy like me, an executioner. I'm back quiet. Richie, go take a bath. Richie, go take a bath. Ah, it's the mortician, mortician over here. Oh, 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 Richie, go take a bath. 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 Richie, go take a